Good evening, I'm Erin Christie. First at five, Tulsa Public Schools has a new superintendent. Late last night, the board approved dropping interim from Dr. Ebony Johnson's title. State Superintendent Ryan Walters has said for months, leadership is what is needed to turn TPS around. But today it's clear this decision isn't the one that will loosen Walters' leash on the district. Thank you. That means this motion passes. <laughs> By a vote of four to two with one abstaining, Dr. Ebony Johnson is Tulsa Public Schools new superintendent. Cheers showing majority approval inside. Board President Stacy Woolley said it's what Tulsans wanted. I had well over 800 responses in support and three emails asking us not to move forward. Johnson is the first black female superintendent at TPS. The only two no votes coming from black women on the board. Dr. Jeanette Marshall wanted a national search. I do not have a problem with Dr. Johnson. I have a problem, as I stated earlier, with the process and the fact that we manipulated our way through avoiding the process. Board member John Croissant argued not only is Johnson qualified, immediate calls for change coming from the state didn't allow time for a lengthy national search. We've got our girl. Although he didn't have a say in the process, State Superintendent Ryan Walters called for a national search as well. He has pushed for drastic improvements, threatening to yank accreditation, even hinting at a TPS takeover, placing fear in parents like Ashley Daly demanding local control to remain. I don't want them to be in charge of us. After the meeting, Dr. Johnson told the media she is looking forward to rewriting the TPS narrative, and to do that, it's time to get to work. We need to be given time, space, and opportunity to do the job, and I'm just grateful for our board for choosing me in order to do that job. In August, Walters told 2 News leadership was the problem. It ultimately forced Dr. Deborah Gist out, but Walters is not satisfied with the new choice, in a statement saying in part, despite months of assurances from TPS that it would take seriously the profoundly troubling issues in the district, the TPS board showed the exact opposite last night, adding, TPS is barreling toward drastic action being taken. Dr. Johnson will have to move quickly to hire several high-level administrators, including the COO and CFO, chief of staff, head of HR, and deputy superintendent. With so many leaving, board members told me that was another reason it was imperative to get a superintendent in place now.